Hello, my name is Vinicius Sanger and I'm going to talk about Internet of Things. The regular Internet, the Internet of People, you have a person, a device, an Internet connection, and the device used to be a tablet, a laptop, a desktop, a television, even a, a game console uh, access Internet. Internet of Things is almost the same thing, but instead of having a person, you have a thing, plus a device, plus an internet connection, and more and more things are being connected to the internet, like trees, houses, uh, cars, uh, drones, and objects are part of the internet nowadays. Internet of Things is a really big market, and you can take advantage of that more than 40 a billion devices will be connected in the Internet of Things in 2020, in 10 years actually. I like this uh, picture. Uh, here we can see a lot of good opportunities to make the world better and smarter, like uh, 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 monitoring uh, water wasting, like monitoring your health, your your heart can be monitored all the time with Internet of Things. Some examples, like this smart pen, uh, it actually runs Java, and we can think about this smart pen accessing the Internet to translate some text that someone writes in a language and wants to translate to another language. Uh, We did this popcorn machine, is a very inspirational uh, project to show uh, how you can have a very simple and regular device like a popcorn cart machine uh, connected to the internet. So you can control using voice, you can tweet when you have a fresh popcorn and you can think about a lot of uh, popcorn 2.0 ideas. We have this nice turtle, it's a wireless turtle and uh, we, we, we have many different uh, countries monitoring animals and make uh, uh, the world better uh, by monitoring animals and taking care about them, studying and, and, and preserving some uh, types of special, very special animals. And in US we have forests with trees that they use to monitor actually using a Java board uh, with a Gemauto uh, chip and 3G connection and accelerometer sensor. So if someone just cut the, the tree, the tree is able to send a message uh, using 3G saying hello I need, I need some help, someone is cutting me. So it's kind of smart forest, which is a very, very nice idea. And even this uh, funny example of Internet of Things, like TweetP, imagine that it can be the first usage of the next generation of the Internet. So if you think about the, our computer, computer for people, uh, they are very powerful, they used to consume a lot of energy or we don't take care about the energy consumption in our regular computer. Uh, we have large amount of memory, Bluetooth connection, wireless, uh, Ethernet connection and so they are very complete. You can run multiple tasks, you can install multiple softwares and you can plug USB devices like printers, scanners, cameras but the computer for the things they are very very small we take care about the energy consumption because it's a very important thing because we will have uh, uh, thousands of that type of computer running in a forest to monitor thousands of trees and we use uh, to have a, the single board computer. Single board computer is a board with uh, all the, the, the other boards that you need to have a complete computer. 
or even we can have a microcontroller as a computer for Internet of Things. If you just want to open and close a gate, a door, you don't need a, 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 a very big computer, so a microcontroller can solve your problem. And sometimes, most of the times actually, we have dedicated computers and sometimes we don't have even the operational system running in that. And different from the computer of people, we want to plug sensors, we want to control motors, relays, uh, appliances in our house. They aren't USB devices. So in the Internet of Things computer we have uh, a special kind of input and output interface called GPIO. We will be talking about GPIO soon and we can have these special types of sensors plug it in the Internet of Things computers. But we have new challenges. Uh, we need a uh, new architecture paradigms uh, because we have the embedded in one hand, in, in the other hand we have the cloud computing, so we want to have the, all the sensors and all the control about the embedded devices published on the cloud computing system database. It's a lot of data that we need to take care, we need to process that data and we need to make some conclusions to have smart device, real smart device. Security is more imp important than ever. Uh, we also need massive updates, dynamic updates of our software. If you just have a software with a bug and you need to update, you have thousands of devices and you need to think about it uh, more than ever. And we don't have a standard for the computers. And different from the personal computers, the computers for things, they vary a lot. And we have different branches, different types of architectures, different operational systems, so it's a really real big challenge. Some facts, it's a big and emerging market. Uh, we have new opportunities if you are uh, 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 creating your own business, you can think about many different ideas. We will improve the do-it-yourself culture that is very popular all around the world uh, and it's even more fun than the regular internet because instead of talking with people you are talking with your house with your plant you are feeding your animals so you can have a lot of fun at the same time that you can create a business project and most of the cases you will need some electronics or embedded knowledge and we are help we are here to help you with that so to finish i would like to share some useful terms around uh, Internet of Things like SOC, System on Chip, is an integrated circuit with the computer inside that chip so it makes easy for the industry to create single board computers based on uh, System on Chip integrated circuits. Machine to Machine M to M is another term, it's very similar to IoT and I, I believe that is kind of a business term or more corporative term uh, about IoT but it means almost the same thing and IoT gateway uh, think about some uh, uh, infrared device that you want to control so infrared isn't a protocol uh, 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 allowed in the internet we cannot connect something with infrared in the internet, so we have some gateway that translate the infrared commands to TCP IP, so by this way the gateway can help the infrared device to be connected on the internet. So, that's our uh, Internet of Things introduction and in the next video we will be talking about Java and how Java is prepared for Internet of Things market. Thank you.